Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms here in the very cold mountains of North Carolina. Yes, fall is definitely here. We actually got our first snowfall right on cue the day after Halloween, just like it always seems to do. But I wanted to play with this radio. I have been working on the radios that I picked up as part of that base station collection. You know, I've already shown you uh, two of those, the Cobra and uh, the Royce. Well, now it's time to look at this Lafayette Comsat 35. Now, this one... This one's old. This one is very old. And it took a little bit of work, as you can hear it popping occasionally. It's a tube radio, but it's still functional. It's a 23 channel, but somebody added this channel selector in here, and so it gets all 40. In fact, it gets uppers and lowers, and uh, the skip is rolling. It hasn't been rolling great for a while, so I wanted to take a chance, and before the skip fades out again, let me go ahead and turn this up so you can hear that this thing does work. <laughs> there we go. How about you? This is Far Point Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina trying this old Lafayette 35. Break, break. <laughs> Boy, Channel 6 is rolling like crazy tonight. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and turn it down. Let me go ahead and turn it down. That had to be the best timing of any clip I have ever played in my life. Anyway, this is the Lafayette Comsat 35. And let me let me just point this out. Comsat 35. Man, does that not sound like something out of a good old-fashioned Cold War movie? The Comsat 35. And it looks like something that would come out of a World War II movie. As I sit here talking to you, the tubes have warmed up and this baby is throwing some heat. Now, I like this red dial. I don't know if that's original, but I do like it. It has a range boost button. And you'll see the little meter there. It is working. Now, originally, this is just a poor little 23 channel radio. But as you roll through the dials, you can see the channels moving up and down. Our buttons here squelch, volume, and delta tune. On this radio, because it is a tube radio and it takes a little while for it to warm up, I have found that delta tune on this radio does actually make a difference, uh, noticeable. So I'm imagining that this thing is probably slightly off channel uh, on the receive and probably uh, on transmit as well. Uh, I haven't been able to get any local contacts with this radio yet. I just got it working here tonight. Uh, now I have not figured out where all these channels go. I do not have a frequency counter. That's right. Eric, the owner of Farpoint Farms, doesn't actually have a frequency counter. Uh, if anyone would like to donate one to the farm, I would be happy to have it. But in all my searching and all my finding of really cool stuff out there, in the field. I have never found a frequency counter, so I don't have one, which makes me want to not play with this too much, other than I know that I, I have flipped it on and I've gotten up into the, the you know the, the 26, 27, 28 channel range, and so obviously it goes up through the 40s, but it has an A, B, C, but then somebody has added an additional switch here, B and C. I don't have the original paperwork for it, so it's hard for me to know where all those channels are going, but what's cool about this, it does have an earphone jack here, does have CB and PA, and it did come with the original mic. The only thing that doesn't seem to be working, the modulation button here, the little red light that would come on and dance around does not seem to be. But the relay clicks and it does transmit. I have verified that locally here. Now let me go ahead and turn this thing around uh, and we'll see the back of it. Now what's really cool about this, uh, wait a minute, I don't wanna damage my little connector here. Lafayette Radio Band Citizen Band Receiver Comsat 35. What's cool about this, if I can get it plugged in here, is that there is a load and plate adjustment on the back of this. So apparently you can adjust the uh, the output on this radio. Again, very little information to be found on this baby, but it does have uh, a meter adjust here, and uh, and it's just it's just really cool. Let me. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it here. Let me do that just so we don't damage anything and I'll get a little closer and of course I'll show close-up pictures of this but I really wanted to share this one to you this was kind of a an if 
you know, when I got this uh, as part of that collection, I thought, oh, a tube radio. Tube radio is probably not going to be functional, but surprise, surprise, it is. Now, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but again, I'll try to show you a close-up of that later on. Power here, TVI trap for the antenna, regular old PL259 for the antenna. Load and plate. Now, if I had the manual for it, I might be willing to play with that to see if you could get a few extra watts out of it. This, of course, is part of this aftermarket channel selector. The unit was made in Japan, which shows how old this whole system is. And then your meter adjustments back there. Let's see if I can get a serial number or a date off of this. Uh, M610-6102. So no idea on the date. Well, I'll take a look at the bottom of it. Oh, again, here's stuff you just don't see anymore, guys. Awesome. No date on the bottom either, but what I want to show you is this. That's right. You can't see it. I'll try to get a close-up of it, but that is the tubes and everything that's going on inside of this thing right there for you. So again, a kind of a diagram to let you know what's going on if you want to make your own repairs. That's what really makes these old radios stand out. I, I just love that when I see that. You know, I didn't even notice that. I probably wasn't paying attention when I took the screws off of it earlier, but yep, it's there. So I'll go ahead and take some close-ups, and here they are right here and here. So that's really nice. But Overall, it's a really nice radio, like a gunmetal gray, battleship gray metal casing here. And like I said, it does tend to throw some heat once those tubes get warm. The front here, that's brushed aluminum. This is just a Bakelite or a plastic. Now, the condition, that's eh, not great. I mean, uh, you know, it's, it's well used. It looks like it may have sat in a garage. Wait a minute, it's sitting in one right now, right? <laughs> but it looks like it may have sat in the garage for a while, and, uh, and that's okay, because I like a radio that's got some use out of it. The great news is, of course, that it works, and all I had to do was uh, unseat the tubes and reseat the tubes, and, uh, and that's it. She fired up. It uh, takes about, a, about 10, 20 seconds to warm up from a dead cold. Once it gets warmed up, it actually has some of the most bassy sounding radio I've ever heard. As far as it goes, it sounds like a much higher fidelity piece of radio equipment than a CV would normally have. So I'm giving it a huge thumbs up for that. Uh, I'm not going to hang on to this one. This one will go on eBay eventually or if someone here has just a desperate desire to own one of these babies, uh, contact me. If anyone knows uh, you know anything about the uh, Channel Selector 3 here, I'd be happy to hear about that as well. I do remember seeing these on some radios back in the 80s. You know, people who still had 23 channels that were converting them. I think I also remember seeing these on radios that were already 40 channel for people who wanted uppers and lowers. And if that's the case, then perhaps I could take this off and use this uh, on a more modern radio and get uh, get that out of band experience, that free bander experience, which I haven't had in so many years. So uh, that's it. I'll, I'll just uh, leave it like that. I'll take a couple of close ups and uh, we'll fade off into the distance with that. I am, of course, Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms. It's been Pleasure talking with you all tonight. Comments are welcome below, and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care. There's always something that needs a little fixing on Far Point Farms. Freedom is mighty sweet.